Christian, here we are at the Sartre Gallery. What do you think of all the exhibitions here today? Uh, absolutely extraordinary. There is so much variation in um, the, the different art pieces, the different artists, the different energies in the pictures, and uh, just really the different emotions that they evoke through their subject matter, through their colours, their vibrancy, their textures. So absolutely quite extraordinary collection that they've put together. So uh, yeah, it's been a real joy um, walking around and experiencing that. I'm wondering when you walk into a room full of great inspirational art, what you actually, is it like a wall of impact? What, what do you actually feel? Well, um, I, I find it quite easy to focus on one piece. And what I'm finding myself doing is analysing it, of course, which is what I do with buildings. Um, and so I'm looking at the emotion and the blueprint of the art. In other words, why did the artist create that piece? What is he actually saying? Is he creating a statement about his own life? Uh, or is it a statement about the subject that they are painting? Um, or is it something else? Is it some mystical, magical um, aspect of, of life that perhaps they're not even aware of? Um, is it like reading a book? Is it something that the more you study the, the image, the more you, you, you read and the more you read into it? Or is it something that comes to you straight away? Yeah, for, for me, it's, um, it virtually comes immediately as, as an instant image. And there are then layers of deeper meaning that start to come through the canvas. And that's what I love about it. So although there's an immediate, perhaps surface level message, there is a depth to it. So the question is, am I reading that um, other message into it from my own blueprint, from my own life experience, or I'm actually truly reading something about the artist and, and their message. So that's what I find fascinating. I think perhaps it's a bit of all of that, but what attracts me to love one painting more than another, I feel that's because there is a resonance in that piece of art that touches my soul, my emotion at a deep level. Something that I recognise from my past, my childhood, that makes me feel good, perhaps makes me feel uncomfortable or even angry, uh, reminds me of a relationship or a good time, bad time. But this is what art does. It evokes all these emotions and memories. And if I like what it's doing, I buy it. So you must have felt a lot of emotions today walking around here. Oh, absolutely, a lot of emotions. And uh, I'm pretty tired now with uh, the amount of processing I've been doing. And, um, but I've been speaking to a lot of artists and they've been sharing with me on, on camera their, their inner emotions and their reasons for um, working uh, with, with the art that they have been. And it's been quite an extraordinary process find that a learning process or is it just like just interest or is it more of a learning process to find out new things about new artists? Um, I, I'm actually wanting to to learn why uh, an artist creates something and particularly how does he actually capture, particularly with the photography, how does the artist actually capture the quality, the quality and the consciousness of light in that particular piece of uh, photography? You know, what are they thinking? What is their connection to universal energy, universal consciousness, at the time they click the shutter? Because to me, if they are connected to their own heart and really in that uh, space of true love, if you like, true emotional uh, space, that will reflect in the piece of photography or the painting. And that will then touch the viewer. And if it touches the viewer with you know, that matching pattern uh, and they love the emotional feel of that, then again, that's why they would choose that piece of art and buy it. And how about this painting behind you? What kind of emotion does that engender? 
Well, th this um, evoked a bit of confusion, uh, or, or should I say, um, I was analysing it from a point of view of, it's a mixture of masculine and feminine going on here. I didn't know who the artist was, and I could feel through the imagery, uh, of course it's a woman lying there, but the face is very masculine. The landscape is very feminine, but she is in control, so it's a very masculine energy of I'm in control, don't muck with me kind of uh, energy. So it's a bit of um, psychological profiling, which is what I do with, with buildings, and I'm doing this with art. So to me, the art is speaking the psychology of the artist. And I was then told that it, it was a man, but with a feminine uh, intuition. And then looking around at the other paintings that he's done, I'm seeing other aspects of his attitude to the feminine and the masculine, which is absolutely fascinating. There's an awful lot going on then. I'm just wondering to people who haven't been to the Strato Art Fair before, how highly would you recommend it? Oh, absolutely highly recommend it. Um, it's a real plethora of um, emotional impact and um, it's, it's just a wonderful place to walk around. So I'd highly recommend the visit for sure. Yeah. Do you have to be open to those kind of emotions to get the benefits or will it affect anybody do you think that comes to an art gallery like this? Yeah, not, not at all. Um, we, we, we all have the same um, sense of perception and emotions. It just depends which one is triggered at the time. So everyone can enjoy and be impacted by the power of the works here. Which ones touch you, and some will more than the others. That just depends on your own inner stories. But then that's the rich tapestry of life. Excellent, well done. Thank you. Good one.